so hello friends i am neeraj and uh, from today we are going to uh, start a whole new series on the uh, golang programming language or in short it is called go simply go so but now question comes in uh, uh, why go and what go actually is so the reason of uh, go why it was developed uh, despite having other languages programming languages like c c++ java c sharp ruby python php etc so uh, while uh, they the while there were some other programming language so why there was a need of a new programming language so the reason basically is lying uh, the reason why go was developed is lying behind the uh, infrastructure of the computation so previously about uh, you might recall like previously about uh, 10 or 15 years ago so the cpus the computer hardware the computer cpus that were of single cores usually single cores or dual cores were also there but usually there at that point of time it was about uh, in the single core cpus but eventually uh, new development uh, new improvement that took place in uh, in in hardware in computer hardwares like memory got increased and uh, ram the ram got increased cpu got increased and right now in today's in in domestic computers or in laptops also so usually the cpu is about uh, the quad core cpus so in a sequential program so while uh, we are having a, a quad core cpu uh, four cores in our cpus and uh, if you write a monolithic uh, sequential program so we are actually wasting the computer resources so i'll demonstrate that with a with a very simple program so don't worry so and uh, basically go was uh, go was developed in order you know, just to address the computation the just to in enhance the improve the computation power and so that uh, our application can utilize the full potential of the cpu cores using the concurrent uh, using concurrency actually but concurrency and uh, parallelism parallelism are not same actually but uh, you can but for the generic terms it is considered i mean both are same but they are not actually same but the uh, the whole idea of uh, using the concurrency is while one computer thread is doing something and uh, and while other is uh, other thread is, is if this is the, if that other thread is available so we can distribute the our task our our uh, uh, full uh, uh, processing among the available cores so this is how like we can achieve the maximum throughput and uh, we can uh, uh, decrease the latency i mean the total execution time of our application we can uh, decrease it so and this is the the concurrency is the basically you can you can say like uh, concurrency is the best the top selling point of go why this is popular among the uh, programming languages uh, where where the i mean the networking or in web development so there are multiple use cases and uh, wherever the response time is is highly required highly efficient uh, that should be i mean latency should be minimized and uh, so at, at that place of time so uh, go is a you can say like that is a, that that shines a lot and uh, if you scroll down here so these are the say these are many companies so that have adopted go and if we talk about the use cases so uh, with go so we can develop the cloud and network applications command line applications web development and docker kubernetes and devops this is basically in devops so go is uh, is used heavily quite and go performs really well very well and uh, and not only this rather uh, with go we can write uh, system pro programming application system programming language pro applications also and uh, because go is a statically typed language just like c or c++ and with go we can achieve the execution time almost equivalent to c or c++ so by the way enough talking and uh, so let us uh, i'll just give me uh, i will dive into my vs code and i'll demonstrate you what uh, we can do uh, what we can achieve uh, using go a lot using concurrency so for example say i have already written a program very short program so here for example i am simulating a food store 
or, or a cafeteria where uh, a customer comes in and uh, he asks for a uh, food and uh, and a tea so all these are these are basically here like uh, process tea and cook food there are two functions and in in process tea for example say i am uh, assuming that process tea what we can what we have to do first we have to boil the water add the tea leaves and add milk and sugar so all these are i have kept it in in a, in a slice and uh, all these tasks these are the st three independent separate tasks and all th three tasks say they are taking one second of time so similarly likewise i have uh, asked the uh, tell the application to go for sleep for one second for each operations and uh, for a, and ideally this process t i will assume that the process t will be completed uh, in 3 seconds and similarly the cook food cook food is a time consuming process so here it would it should it is supposed to take a 5 seconds time and the moment we run this program like go run and cook food dot go so it has started the execution so first it is preparing our tea so boil water completed add tea leaves completed add milk and sugar completed cooking food is started the whole time it took is around approximately 8 seconds right and uh, basically this is a sequential flow of a program execution so all the steps are happening sequentially and but on the contrast if we land on this program here also i am doing the same thing so i am processing tea and cooking food and uh, here again so the same thing boil water add tea leaves and add, mi add milk and sugar and uh, each step is going to take 1 second of time and uh, similarly the cook food is also going to take about 5 seconds on uh, seconds of time so this is something similar so while i run this one this program so again go run cook concurrency dot go so here co cooking food is started boil water complete and the total time taken is ar is around 5 seconds so why so basically the idea behind is this that when uh, however i have wrote the in the same sequence the process t at the top and the cook food at the bottom so while the idea is like process t is started and cook food also started so process t is going to take 5 seconds so that is why first of all this uh, cooking of food is started this this uh, this uh, uh, this message we we received this is uh, this has already started and uh, and it went for sleep for about here this line this at this line line number 43 it went for sleep for 5 seconds so the idea is while it is sleeping so the uh, our application uh, it, it created a new thread uh, we can you can say it like a thread and the the whole like while it went for a sleep so our computer our computer was not doing anything and with this concurrency because we wrote uh, this this application this is running in a concurrent mode so while it is going for a sleep so our computation started for the next task so next next task was task was the process t so that is why we are saying here like cooking food already started but in the meantime why uh, why uh, but in the meantime by when uh, it is going to complete so our process t has already com already completed so boil water tea leaves and milk and sugar so all the tea process the tea is already been processed and so that is that is why uh the whole time taken here taken by this application this concurrent pro current con this uh, concurrent program uh the whole time taken is uh, is only about 5 seconds as compared to the 8 second in a sequential programs so basically this is the real beauty of uh, go where go shines and uh, concurrency is uh, basically the literally this is really very easy to understand easy to learn believe me this is really very easy very simple so we will be learning go uh, step by step we will try to learn each uh, each and every steps not bolts of uh, go programming language and we will learn with uh, writing of uh, small programs and before that uh, so i am designing this course like first uh, we will uh, learn the basics about the variables and the function and the functions and other 
basic stuff of the programming language and uh, later on also we will uh, we will learn the with the use with uh, actual use cases by writing a uh, uh, simple simple programs and uh, that way i think we can uh, we can grasp the language this 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 new language uh, more uh, more in more deep and uh, and very well so uh, what you what you guys feel and what you guys think about it so just do let me know in my in the comment section and uh, till then take care and happy coding